He's Mega here. Um, I'm just about done overhauling the uh, my light bee. Okay, it's as you can see, it's got a new front end, and it's all murdered out. <laughs> it's all black, dude. All black. So a lot of the bike is just gray and black. In my opinion, I like the gray color better. I think the black is just it's just too black, you know, too much black. I've seen a black uh, uh, Sora uh, light bee before, so and I kind of like the gray color better. <laughs> To tell you the truth okay anyway um yeah so so this is the uh, rst killer front end that i got from that guy um in carson city and uh and you can see like over there is my other ones okay so i got my i got the spare one he gave me over there for free might i add and then i got my old one right here okay so uh all right. Um, anyway, uh, what I wanted to share was oh, I'll do a video on on what the all the work that I did on the bike uh, in a bit. But I want to show you. I'm trying to figure out what kind of springs we're going to put on this bike. So this this dude he he raced for RST, so he got like a bunch of stuff from RST. Like and he like you know, uh, as far as I know, I don't know where to get these springs from. Okay, so but he, he gave me these springs. And one of them is a red spring, and one of them is a blue spring. And he 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 asked me like, so how heavy is your bike? I'm like, yeah, it's pretty heavy. Uh, <laughs> so it's not ain't no mountain bike. <laughs> and uh, so he gave me a red spring and a blue spring. Okay, I think the the blue spring is a lighter spring, and the red spring is a heavier spring. Okay. So I don't know what spring is in that bike right now. So we're gonna go figure it out. Um, obviously, I think you're gonna want to put the stiffest spring you can on the bike. All right. Um, so this. This fork has my spacer mod, okay? So on this one, I I took the spring out and I dropped a, a three quarter inch socket in that one, okay? And I used that as a preload spacer and it worked great, okay? That's that's what I noted. The bike bottoms out a lot less, okay? Is what I'm gonna say. Um, now I'm gonna try I'm gonna try it with I'm gonna try with whatever is in this shock, okay? So or this fork. Um, but I'm gonna take out what's in here and if it's not the if it's the blue one I'm gonna put the red one in okay. I don't really know what's in here right now. So we're gonna go find that out. Okay um, I think it's a 20 millimeter, but I, I I don't really have a 20 millimeter. I have a 13 16 and it's the one that fits there So it's kind of weird. It's a SAE size, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go take out take out that spring and then we'll see what's in there Okay, there should be a spring full of grease and stuff. All right. All right, answer it all. Okay, so we probably don't have to take the spring out. All you have to do is tape the cap off and then and then move the front end up, okay? Uh, what are we doing here? Okay, I need this guy. I'm gonna open this up. Oh my God, it's so tight. Man, that is in there good. Right, I'm gonna go from this side. Now this should be a there should be a spring in there if it's a RST for, if it's a Killa fork. Boy, was that on there tight? Okay, I gotta remember put that thing back on tight. It might be under a lot of tension. I'm not sure. It shouldn't. Okay, there we go. It is under some some pressure. Oh. Okay, there's this, there's this kind of rod thing here. Hmm, I don't, man, you know, it's, I'm not going to lie, it's been a minute since I've uh, taken a, one of these apart. <laughs> okay, now I should be able to easily move it up. Okay, maybe I should, 
lower the compression. Okay, that should make it easier. Oh boy, this is uh, it's kind of hard. The spring, just kind of wrap it so I don't have to hold it up anymore. Okay. So what's in here? Ah, it's the blue spring. All right. So we're gonna take we're gonna put the red spring in here. Okay. So we're gonna take this out. It's got a lot of grease in on on it. Okay. Okay. So there's the red spring right there. Okay. That's the difference between the red spring and the blue spring. This spring has a lot more grease on it. So what I might do is I might transfer some of the grease. So there's the red and the blue. Okay. See it. There's a lot more grease on the blue one than there is on the red one. So I'm going to go transfer some of that to the red one. Okay. And then uh, we'll throw it back in there. Okay. Hopefully, uh, and then I'll, I'll just have to see how this is after a while. So okay, say, there right? they are. One of them is a... Uh, one of them is a blue spring and one of them is a red spring. You can't see the color because it's on the other side. Yeah, that's a blue one. That's the red one there. Okay, so we're going to put the red one in. The red one is supposed to be stiffer. Okay, so remember that I don't know if if anybody has a, a RST killer fork with. Oh, you know what? We can open that one too. Let's open that one up. Okay, since yeah, this one's that. not on the bike, I'm going to use an impact gun for this one. All right, to open it up. Let's just grab the stanchion. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> it's probably because it's all worn out. You know. Okay, there's that guy, and then there's there's the there's the um, <laughs> there's my washer there's my socket. I guess I might as well retrieve that. So there it is. That's what it looks like after having been in there for a while. Okay, and then there's the. I don't know. Maybe that I don't know if this stuff just turns this color after a while. So here's what's in here. I'm just, I want to leave this in. Ah, it's a red spring. There you go. So it's the it uses a red spring. I can you can faintly tell there is a there is a red color to it. Okay. There it is. See. Let me let me get more light. Okay. Red. Red spring, okay. So, if you buy a, if you have an RST fork, all right, a RST killer fork, and you get it from a mountain bike, you got to make sure you put the red spring in, okay, for the Soron, because the Soron is heavier than the mountain bike. You need a stiffer spring in there, okay. So, so there you go, okay. So we we will put the red spring in, okay. I'll put this one back. <laughs> All right. Okay, so what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna transfer the grease, okay? Just stick my finger in there and move it from one one spring to another, okay? Because there's this one seems to have a lot of grease, and this one doesn't have any at all. So we want to put the grease in there, okay? <laughs> that's what that's what keeps things sliding in there. There's no there's no fork fluid in there, so we got to put more grease in there. All right, all right, and then uh, and I'm just gonna put it back in. All right, so so yeah, so we're gonna put the red spring in, guys. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, alternatively, if you feel that your your front fork is too harsh for you, you like let's say you're weigh like a hundred pounds or something, then you probably might want to go to the blue spring. Okay, if, if you think it's too stiff. That's what I'm gonna say. So that, that's 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 how you tune these these uh, spring uh, these spring type forks. Okay. Um, if you have uh, if you have an air fork, then you have to you have to put a certain amount of pressure for your weight or something. That's what I I never used the air fork before. So, all right. Okay, there we go. I just transferred. The all right, grease. so I just transferred the grease from uh, the blue spring to the red spring, uh, and what I did was I got the that screwdriver there and I just spread it on like it was butter. Okay, <laughs> so that's what I did. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna put it back in the bike. You know what I'm just gonna do? I'm just gonna put the. Uh, I'm gonna put the uh, the, s the socket in there already. So, okay, yeah. All right, here's me out. Oh yeah. So I took the f I took the socket out. Um, let's try it without the socket first. It seems like it's way too hard to get in there. I don't know. 
something might be different with this fork compared to the other one. Okay, uh, this one, uh, this one is the the black RST Killa fork. The uh, my old one is the white one. I'm not sure if there's any difference between the black and the white one. I heard I heard something that it's a little bit better than the white one. I mean, it's newer than the white one, so I guess I don't know. Man, it, it was so hard to get in, so I don't know what we're gonna do, man. <laughs> yeah, I remember it was on there very tightly, so. <clears throat> okay, should be good. Okay, so we've got the red spring in there and the black fork. Red spring in the black fork without the spacer, okay? Without my little socket mod, okay? We'll see how that is. All right, um, I guess I'll just put this in a plastic bag for now and then uh, put it in later, I guess. Uh, yeah, I could, dude, I could not get that in there. It was really hard. Um, I guess, uh, I don't know. I'll see how it is like this first and then we'll... Uh, and then we'll drop the socket. It's, it's not that hard to drop the socket in, provided you can close this sucker, dude. Okay, so uh, in the next clip, uh, I will go over all the uh, overhaul stuff that we did. Okay, it's basically all the stuff that I, you know, just recently bought for it. I installed on the bike, okay? And there's some stuff that I've been trying to do for a while now, <laughs> okay? So it, it's, it's, a, it's a fresh bike for the new racing season, <laughs> basically, all right? All right, here's what we got.